Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, you know where you are. If you've never been here before, my name is Kayla and this is Kayla's Advice where I give you advice on relationships, bullying, toxic friendships. Today we have something that I've never done before and it is I got an email from someone who wishes to remain anonymous and they asked me how to cure their boredom. They have a situation that's going on where they can't be as mobile as they would like to be. So they were asking for cures of boredom. And I know we've all been bored before. So maybe some of you out there can use these. So some boredom cures I thought of are listening to music slash finding new music. So if you like music, you can listen to the music that you have. If some artist that you like releases new music, you can listen to that. Or you can ask people for suggestions of new artists that they think you would like or want you to listen to and see if you get into any new music. Read a book. I always love reading. Um, reading is something where you can get lost in somewhere and not worry about your problems for a while. I know that one book that I read that was really good is Devil in Ohio. It's a really, really good book. And I feel like, you know, reading a book is a way for you to escape and kind of go into this other type of world. Learn a new skill, whether it would be knitting or sewing or just playing the piano, or learning an instrument, or, you know, something like that, where you can just spend your time doing something that, you know, you could learn. Knitting is something that one of my friends does, and she learned how to do it. She loves it. One of my friends actually makes her own clothes, so she sews her own clothes. Um, another one of my friends is learning how to play the guitar, another one the piano, another one the drums. So a lot of people are learning how to play different instruments. They say it takes up a lot of your time and it's really fun. So whether you have Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Hulu, try to binge something you're interested in. So for Netflix, you could do some true crime stuff. Hulu, I know you can do The Masked Singer. Or Disney Plus, you can watch any Disney movie or show that you needed to catch up on. That way you could spend your time watching something that you enjoy and won't bore you to death. And then you can, you know, spend your time doing that. Right now I'm watching Hannah Montana. Make slash watch videos. So I know that I make videos with Windows Movie Maker a lot. And I just have ideas and I make videos. Or like right now, I'm making videos to help people. So that could be something that you're passionate about and have always wanted to try. And you can use a phone like I use because I can't afford a camera because I'm a broke college student. Or you can watch videos. I found many new creators. If you like true crime, you can look up true crime, find those creators. You could just watch a bunch of videos from people that you start to like. So listening to podcasts. I know I listen to Mile Higher podcasts which talks about a lot of different things and conspiracy theories. Or I know there's a Jenna and Julian podcast. Um, and there are many, many other podcasts out there. And you could find one, start watching and see what you like. And learn an instrument. Like I said up there, it's going to take some time. Or even if you want to learn clarinet or flute or, you know, sleep. Now, I said this one may just be me, but if you're tired and want to take a nap, obviously sleep is something that you can do. It gets rid of time. And if you're tired, sleeping will be a good thing to do to kind of recharge your batteries. And, you know, or if you have a headache, you could sleep. Write a book slash play slash poem. So writing a book. I'm writing a horror book right now. If you ever have an idea for a book, Sit down, start writing. Maybe that idea will take you somewhere and you'll be able to do something with it. Write a play. So I've also written plays and one I am working on is it's just a way for you to kind of think of an idea and see what you can do with it. It's all about creativity and people don't think they're creative, but when they get down and start writing, they actually can see the potential. Sorry, I honestly don't know what happened. It just stopped. But... 
like I said, they can see the potential that they have there. So poems, again, with the whole creativity and seeing the potential that they have. Writing songs. This is a big thing because I'm going to start music, like I say with my music Instagram down below. I've been writing a lot of songs and I write it about my experiences and it really brings out a really creative side of me and some other sides I didn't know I had. Okay. If you like singing or acting, you could try to learn new songs or new material. So with the singing, you could try to learn new songs and work on your singing that way and kind of build up your confidence about that. Or if you like acting, you can do what I do. I look up monologues and I practice them online and it really, really like kills time. So calling people that you love and start a conversation. If you haven't talked to somebody in a while and you want to, you can ask them when, you know, will be the best time to get in touch. And then you guys can call like someone that you haven't seen in a while or a family member that you don't get to talk to that much. You can like reconnect with somebody or you can t call them and ask them how their day is going. Playing video games. I know I play video games. It's that, if that's your thing, play video games, like new video games, video games you have, video games you haven't touched in a while. It'll be fun. You get to spend hours trying to play these video games. I hope this video helped. Uh, the first part may have gotten deleted, so I may have to do that again, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you.